Thank you for joining us today at Mantra Wargaming Labs. Today we will be painting the Dustback Helamites to support our Ash Waste Nomad Gang. So this comes out of the new Necromunda Ash Waste box. And finish painting these guys up. So, wonderful models. And in this tutorial, we are going to do a paint job that you can do um, all four of these guys in a day. With the idea you start early in the morning, you got your army painter paint, and by the end of the day you got them done. So that's the challenge. So we're going to get these uh, battle ready. And I think looking pretty good actually. But for this one I primed him uh, Citadel Xandry Dust. I used army painter Basculist Brown, Necromancer Cloak, Leather Brown, Troll Claws, Gun Metal, Skeleton Bone, Dragon Red, Wolf Gray, and Fog Gray. I also dusted it off with some Vallejo German Camouflage Beige World War II. And I also used Citadel's Agrax Earthshade and a Ghrelin Earth to texture the base. I also did, on mine, I um, did the little rim around the base, Bugman's Glow. Um, do whatever you want. That's just how I do my armies. So it's not part of the tutorial. Just let me know how I got that color. All right, let's go ahead and get started on this guy. Now I primed our model Xandry Dust because we wanted to keep it in a th sandy theme here. All right, but what I also did is if you watched the build with us uh, that we did, made the rider. There's very tight tolerance on this. Come on. Come off. I've taken you off before. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to paint the rider and the mount separately. So we're going to come back to this guy later. And so let's just start with the mount. Now we're going to get a nice thick base coat of Army Painter's Basilisk Brown. And I can use a brush that I've already messed up. I can use bigger bristle brush and just work this. I'm going to put two coats on it depending on how well this covers. I might have to switch to a smaller brush to get back to the abdomen there. But just to move quickly around the outer carapace I'll use this big brush. And I do all of these at the same time so And then, like I showed, and get a little bit more paint here. And I'll then take this little brush that I've messed up already. See, I'm not painting this. We'll do this stand later after all this dries. Oh, this little one we can jab in there. It can fit into the little nooks and crannies. And you're gonna have to turn him all different angles to get down in there. Some of these little legs. Alright, so we got this guy painted up. Now we're going to do. Alright, so I do their backpack, this little thing, their face mask, and all their stowage as Necromancer cloak. So to get started, get. Here, let's get the face mask and the rebreather. And then we'll get the stowage. Now we're ready to move on to the next color, which will be Leather Brown. Let me bring this guy up into focus. So I use the Leather Brown on the boots. So these little red gloves. 
And then you'll see on his left arm, there's two straps. You just go ahead and follow those around. Then we get his belts here. He's got one for hooking his backpack to his waist. And just a standard hold up your pants belt. And so he's got a little plate right there on his knee. We're not going to paint the plate brown, but the little strap that holds it into place, the paint brown. So let's just go ahead and finish this up. Next step, we're going to take some Army Painter Troll Claws. And this is going to be for our guy's weapon here. Sniper rifle. Probably one of my favorite sniper rifles. The black one was nice. The Palanite Enforcers was nice. So the sniper rifles keep getting better and better. And don't forget to get the little handle down there, just a touch of color. Don't worry, it's only the sniper rifle we're doing in this color. And it'll make sense once we put a layer of wash on it. Now we're going to use some Army Painter Gun Metal. And I am going to use it on the little back. So he uses the Dust Mite shell as a saddle. But he has a little post out here to attach all his gear and lean back against and riding, so I'm going to go ahead and paint the post metal. And then on this model, what we're going to do is we kind of did the whole rifle in one color, but to add a little interest, I use I take little parts of the model and use the gunmetal to kind of accentuate some details, some interest in it. And I pick only a couple pieces of the model. to put the metal effect on? Okay, what else should I do? Mm. Let's do the bolt. In the back, to the receiver, um, continuation of the bolt thingy. And we'll go ahead and do the scope. Make it look like the scope is a piece that swaps in and out. So it might not always be the same color as the rest of the rifle. Alright, so we got the gun metal down. Now we're going to use some Army Painter Skeleton Bone. And we are going to use that on straps. So if you look at this backpack, you can see there's these little straps that run up it, up the side there, and then keep it battened down to his pack frame. So in the regular infantry, I normally paint this part leather brown. But for these guys, I wanted them to stand out a little bit more. And we're going to go ahead and do that on the dust pack. So it's got these little reinforcement bands here. It's holding its damaged carapace together. Kind of a little band-aid for its boo-boo. 
So you can see there's some on the legs here and the feet. You might find these little bands and bones that are used uh, as splints. Get the bone. And then we can see there's these straps that are holding down the extra packs here. All right, now our guys, about as far as we're gonna take them at this stage. So what I'm gonna do is grab some glue here. And of course, the lid is stuck. So I'm gonna struggle with this off camera for a second because I wasn't professional enough to have it ready before I hit film. All right. So for this one, I'm going to use some super glue, and I'm going to put a little glue right between the legs here. And then I am going to lower the Nomad into position, nice and neat. Excellent. I'm going to let that dry. Now that it's on there and dry, we're going to take some Agrax or Shade. Give it a good shake here. Take a big brush like this. And just start coating it liberally with the Agrax or Shade. All over the model. Something I might have to do here is get a smaller brush, something I've already messed up, and jam it into the abdomen and thorax between these arms. But these are really tight together. So the big brush is faster, you can't get into these tighter spots. And as you can imagine, I'm gonna let this guy dry for a while. to get them all coated up. Now, since we've doused this guy in a wash, we're going to go ahead and grab some Agrellin Earth. And this is going to be my texture for the base. So let me get out my fancy tool here. Alright, so since this is a big base, so I probably should have used some green stuff to kind of tie in the little pad the feet are on. To the base so it gets a smoother transition, but I didn't. So we'll just keep going along that, put a nice liberal coat so it gets that nice cracked earth look. And then those two things can dry together and I'll take a couple hours. Alright, so our model's all dry now. So I am going to take some Vallejo German Camouflage Beige World War II. You pretty much use any sand color. Army Painter has a range of them, but I like this one. I'm going to take my dry brush, get a little paint, wipe it off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dry brush and go whack it 
that direction. Then I'm going to whack it that direction. So I'm going to hit two perpendicular angles. Perpendicular? Yeah, perpendicular. Make sure I got that right. And how much you put on shows like how much dust. But it, you know, a good, good complement to the dust backs and uh, kind of ties the whole room together. Sorry, I was thinking about the big Lebowski the rug. All right, we'll just keep on going. Dry brush the model and the little base and the sand kind of tie it together. And now I'm going to get my extra tiny brush. And I've got some Army Painter Dragon Red. And so what I'm going to do is just, there's a little almond shaped disc, almond shape part there. That's where their eye optics are supposed to be. So I'm just going to put a drop right on that. Let me try and to get to the other eye since the rifle's in the way. Let me uh, it's a rifle in the way it's kind of tough. I wear glasses too, so alright, got the red in. Alright, now I'm gonna take some Army Painter Wolf Gray and I'm going to take my brush here, and we're just going to do the eyes. So very carefully, since we did all that work to the carapace, just draw out an edge around the lines, nice and slowly. Fluid motions. There we go. Now we'll do the other one. Ready for our last step, which is going to be some fog gray. So this is like the wolf gray, but a little bit lighter. But it still has that hint of blue. So what I do is I just take the brush and I kind of make a little oval at the top. And then I want it to be symmetrical. So get one more lick here. And just drag it a little bit. There we go. Some nice little grasshopper eyes. Easy peasy. Alright, so while I was painting this, I painted the other three guys that came in the box, so four and all. And it looks good. Really enjoy these new models. Nice step here. So, thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs, and we'll see you next time.